A Placerville man has now been ruled out as a possible suspect in the murder of an eight-year-old girl. Sheriff's investigators now say they're concentrating on finding Layla Fowler's killer closer to her hometown. Laura Anthony with an update from Valley Springs in Calaveras County. We are uh, continuing to follow up on leads. Calaveras County sheriffs now say they believe Layla Fowler's killer is someone close to the Gold Country community where the little girl was murdered. We have no information that leads us to believe that any uh, cases outside of our area involving children are related to our current investigation. Sheriffs did send a detective to Placerville to check out a suspect in an attempted child abduction there. And it was determined uh, that we can officially rule that person out as a suspect in our case. Eight-year-old Layla was found by her 12-year-old brother Saturday afternoon at her family's Valley Springs home. Police say she died from multiple stab wounds. For those who live here and those who know Layla's family, each day that passes without a break in the case is that much more difficult. I'm scared to death every night. I, I don't sleep. I haven't slept since you know this has all happened. That I am up. All hours of the night checking on my kids. Sheriffs say they have collected several knives from the home, but don't know yet if any of them is the murder weapon. In Valley Springs, Laura Anthony, ABC 7 News. The Santa Cruz County Sheriff's Department is warning people to stay away from this man, 42 year old Dimitri Storm, considered armed, dangerous, and unpredictable. Deputies call Storm a serial car thief, and they say he's taken things out of 40 cars over the past month. They say he stole 10 of those vehicles. Investigators go on to say that Storm is the man caught on this surveillance video back in March burglarizing a car in Ben Lomond. Storm's family says he has a history of mental illness and a criminal record that dates back to 1980. 89.